You are watching SOHH.com. No What's up, my boy Millie's? How you, man? What's going on, bro? It's cool. Nothing much. Nothing much. It, was, it, was good. it was good to tap in with you last night, for sure. Definitely a vibe. Heard a lot of good music. Fire, sure. of course. Sure. So, you know, I sure. know you got a lot. Of, for sure. Got you, got you. I know you got a lot of, um, you know, going on. Album drop tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah. Album drop at midnight. It's lit. It's lit. So first of all, I just want to ask, like, how you feeling? Like, what's what's your mindset right now? I know everything going on, but how are you just feeling personally, like, with everything going on for you? Man, I'm 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 good. You know, I'm in a in a state of just just getting after it. Like, I'm I I haven't even took a moment to really let it sink in because I got so many plans. Like, you know, last time I dropped my album, I focused but just week one where it's like this time I want to make sure that you know the album most people's projects only live for like a week two weeks so I'm really trying to make that sure part. this this goes the long haul and runs all the way into the summer you know what I mean but um just right. grinding bro waking up doing press you. I'm still making music through all of it so yeah gotcha that's what it is I mean that's exactly why I asked because for that reason right there but you because sometimes you never get a moment to to just take it in because we're moving, you're moving. So that's exactly why I asked. Um, like I told you before, you got the last project with Davies was fire, but going into this one, this being the, the sixth addition to the Blanco series, like, what was how important is this one for you? I'll say, like, very important because this is one of the ones where it's like, you know, I feel like I got my sound mastered, you know, and um, this is me just displaying that, like, the sound that I created through Blanco. This is me kind of perfecting that and giving it to the world. Got you, got you. I like that. I like that. Well, definitely heard a lot of a lot of heat last night. It was uh it was a pleasure of being able to you know get some hear some early early releases. You got the you got yo yo. You got you got over. You got risk takers, of course. Um, yeah. Tonight, tonight, which is yeah. you know important, very you know a big one with the M sample, which go crazy. What was your uh, I want to say what was your mindset going into that? Was there any pressure like being M is who he is? Was it? Any pressure for that, or that was just regular, like a bet? I got this fire beat. I nah, I, I, crazy. I, yeah, I really did it pressure free because I felt like it was never gonna get cleared anyway. So by the time you know um, the song came out, like it was just that it was just a purely created record. It wasn't like I, I did too much, but I did go back in and make a um, and make an extended version that a drop with the album, but on Monday. Okay, nice. That's what's up then. I. I, I like that. I like that because you know the, we got you got the video, you got the video to that which I, which is fine, which is good, and you know the 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 idea behind the video. How about you? Can you go into that? Like the idea behind it and just the whole the whole concept. Man, of the song. Um, yeah, I just uh, you know just being that. I just want to encapsulate like the the feeling of paranoia. Um, you know, and just dealing with, with mortality and paranoia. That's something I, you know, I think about often before rap, during rap. You know, I've I seen people go in a matter of a second. So I know it's always a possibility when you lace your sneakers up and walk out of the house, you could die. You know what I mean? So I uh, I just wanted to kind of show, encapsulate that into the video by showing me in that in that hotel room, just a, a little paranoid of what's going on outside, you know. Right. But I didn't want to make it too literal at the same time. No, I get that. I get that. I like that. Um, shit. Even on the, you just dropped it with the I Nine Five freestyle, right? Yeah. Yep. You went. You went. You went stupid on that. But that's regular. But you went. You went crazy. So, you know, to double back on the M yeah. shit, like you, you mentioned, you mentioned him in the freestyle, like, you know, I know M hear me, you know, I'm waiting on my feature. That, 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 the next yep. line after that, everything was fire, but do you really feel like, you know, he, he's tapped in or you, you just got to do more work? It's just a line that you just use, but, or is he tapped in for real? Like, if he's not tapped in, if he's not tapped in, that's just like a line to get him tapped in at least you know hopefully gotcha. so yeah that was just one of those you know i, I just be i just be thinking of shit and saying it yeah no i get it i get it i like that i like that though um shit you well you, you did that now with being signed to probably one of the, the greatest rappers top five that are alive for sure um you've been how long you've been signed like since since, since 16 right 17 oh so around there 
Yeah, it's for a minute. Seventeen. Yeah. yeah, for a minute. So what what is it like being able to you know have access and be able to soak up game from somebody of that you know or that stature? Like, and that's high level rap, as you would say. Like, what is it like being able to to be in that space? Nah, it's dope. It's definitely a, a cheat code if you know how to use it, you know, because it's like I'm able to be with a veteran and a legend in this shit. I feel like this that's kind of what everybody needs in life, especially, you know, young men. You need a mentor. You need somebody who's doing something that right. you haven't done yet. So, you know, I got a few mentors and he's definitely one of them. So it, it's... It's incredible too because he's also like the definition of longevity, you know, in this career. Yeah, yeah. In this, in this hip hop thing, so that's something good for me to see because I can see where I could possibly be, you know, in yeah. 10, 20 years. I get that, and it, it definitely says a lot with you know, with how this rap shit is, and just like you said earlier, like with the music, it's like people sit with sit with it for a week. You want to have a project and have things that. People could still continue to listen to, moving on forward, and, they, and he's definitely a yeah. great example of that for sure. Um, what's the like probably the the best advice he probably gave you? You would you would say, or just something that that not even that, just something that probably just stuck with you. Um, just seeing the consistent grind of being a professional rapper. You know, he's a prof professional rapper, and right, that's a little different when. When you realize about you know the show bookings, the walkthroughs, the features, the the press, the studio right. process, all of that you know there's rap and there's professional rap. So watching a professional rapper, you know, um, I think that that gave me all the game that I needed for it without him even having to tell me things. I just read through through the lines, you know, read right between the lines. Right. Respect. I hear that. Um, shit, what's like, what can we expect from you, like, moving forward after this? I know this one is important for you, so what can we yeah. expect, you know, moving forward? Man, I'm trying to, uh, you know, I'm trying to do it all. I'm trying to get in the acting. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to do everything I could do, but at the same time, like, I'm never going to stop just dropping consistent music. And, uh, I just want to flood projects. We're, we're in the, we're in the, uh, era of, like, we're in the era of uh, competitive rap music, and I don't mean competitive within yeah. the bars. I mean competitive, like within the 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 lifestyle and and you know the career. Like basically, right now we're in this era where you have to drop in volume and you have to drop fire content. So yeah. back in the day, like a drop, take a year off come back it's not like that anymore you gotta drop now nah, people drop forget again, drop again yeah yeah but the catch is that the shit also has to be hot when you drop again so yeah. we're in the era now of competitive rap where you have to drop frequently and it has to be hot because if you don't drop they'll say you fell off if you keep dropping and they don't like it they'll say you fell off so right. you gotta drop that shit and show why why you know what I mean you, you really are uh, you're, you're built for this you feel me so right. you know I say that to say that that's 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 what I'm doing it's a show and prove thing I could do this shit in my sleep real shit real shit and I, I mean the truth is in the detail for real because you gotta be consistent and I say that to say because you've been consistent over the over the years you've been dropping. I would say every year, like you've been dropping the heat and it's all been heat. So that's that you staying in people's faces, you're giving us content, you're giving us, you know, visual, going along, going along with the music and everything is fire. I would say, and I think people would say too, obviously, and I'm sure you feel that way. So that's definitely the key. That's what it is to stay in people's face, keep being consistent, keep dropping heat. And you know, it's only up from there, basically. For sure, for sure. Oh, Definitely. What um who who's like you know people would ask who's the top five. I, I'll probably say who's who's your, who was your favorite growing up. You know, being like who was more influential to you growing up. Five out of five. 
I mean, you could do five or just you personally, you could have three that could use, but you know, whatever, that's the number, but you know, whatever you wanna, however you wanna answer it. Uh, yeah. Who's most influential? I might got a few. Yeah, I might got a few more, but like most influential, like Tupac, mm -hmm. DMX, um, Eminem, yeah. they all kind of, you know, shifted, shifted uh, the way I was thinking. And then obviously like just growing up on shit like Big, The Locks, Mace, um, know into into the generation but then I, I kept getting inspired um from from the, from the from the older rappers to the younger rappers like Nipsey Hussle like I was inspired by Nipsey Hussle for real right like to go look up tweets when I'm talking about him at you know in 2013 saying he's one of my favorites of all time so I always kept, I always caught inspiration along the way from like a, a great deal of people Got you. Definitely some, some some great great people you mentioned for sure, and I could I could see that you take that and you just mix it, you mix it in and just make your own basically. Yeah, 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 and it's a plethora of other people. You know what I mean? From Beanie Siegel, I didn't even say Hov and Nas. You know what I mean? It's right. so many. Wayne probably. I, I don't know. Yeah, Wayne. Wayne, Matthew, Wayne yeah. of course. Rick Ross too. I ain't gonna lie, like Rick Ross. He be, he be talking. He be sure. everybody. Everybody's in there. You know. Got you. I like that. Cause some people try to front and be like, nah, I got this just me. Nah, you gotta get some type of influence and, and bring it your own. Nah, your this, own to it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You gotta emulate the greats, under you feel me? For sure. For sure, for sure. Right. What's what's going on with uh with sports? You fucking with sports? I mean it's just the Celtics, man. The Celtics, you know. <laughs> Get gear in for a playoff run, man. Just the Celtics, that's all I want. As you should, as you should. I feel you, I feel you. It's, you know, it's L.A. over here. It, it's funny, I'm in New York. I got an old New York shit. I'm talking about some L.A. niggas, but I fuck with the Lakers. Yeah, so you yeah. know that Boston, L.A. thing. You already know. That would be yeah, great. Yeah, if, no. if, if niggas could go to the finals, that would be, be fine. But, you know, we'll see what happens. That would be super fire. That would be super crazy, super crazy. Um... Yeah, so album dropping tomorrow, man. You excited? Yeah, you man. Excited? No, definitely, definitely. Um, I'm excited for the people to. You, that's what I'm really excited for. Like, I love like seeing the, the reviews, and I love seeing people just knocking that shit. And that that's what it's for, man. Just putting the art out to the world. So I'm definitely excited. Right. Nice. As you should be, man. What's up? Uh, what's probably uh, your favorite track? You got a favorite track or? I know it probably I like changes. Yeah, it changes. I like Grenadine right now. Grenadine number two. Okay. That's, that, that's a joint I love. That's near and dead to me. They all are, but you know. That's that's the one that's that you rocking with right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play that shit a lot. Copy, copy. I like that. Oh um, shit, man. What else what else can people expect? Like tap into after after this. Like what what else can they follow you? You got anything coming up? Anywhere you gonna be at? Like what? Yeah, yeah, nah, you know, I got I got a nationwide tour um, starting in the East Coast, Boston, I already sold out, other 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 things on the verge of selling out, and uh, we going to the West Coast, we going to the Midwest, then I'm going out to Canada, we got a lot going on, you know. Ice, going to Toronto. Yeah, we're going to T-Dot, all gonna, that. It's going to be lit over there, it's going to be lit. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is, man. For sure. Good. It was good tapping in with you though, yo. It was definitely good tapping in. Got the vibe. It was good you, energy. Bro. Good vibe. Good music. Um, you know, high good. level rap. You feel me? And you definitely stick to that. Bars, yeah. bars for sure. So I like that, bro. So um, you know, hopefully we can tap in again. It was a pleasure. I appreciate you. And Hello. continue, continue Hello. doing. Hello. Continue doing your thing, man. All love. Continue doing your thing for real. Nah, you too, bro. Appreciate you. I you are watching SOHH.com.